Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm so excited to have Sonyata from Untamed Perfumes uh, here to talk about perfume, perfume notes, how to create a perfume, all of that kind of stuff. I'm so excited. I've spent the weekend with her. It's been just amazing. She it has been amazing. It has, yes. She had her launch of Salish Sea. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did that on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, We're, still still really We're still still recovering. <laughs> <laughs> so it was an awesome, awesome time. And mm -hmm. uh, I had the privilege of being able to come into the lab. Uh, a couple days ago and Sonyata kind of took me through some of the process of how to create a perfume which is definitely uh, not as black and white as I thought and mm -hmm. so it's been a real amazing learning experience. So Sonyata is gonna kind of take yes. us through what a few we, things. What are we doing? What are we doing? What shall we do? We <laughs> talked about, well we talked about how we can move different perfume notes in different directions. Yes. So like a rose. Is rose. a rose a... Yeah. A rose is not a rose is not a rose. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. a rose, but what kind of rose do we like? Yeah. So, like, you know how uh, in perfume, like Flora Botanica, for instance, kind of that fresh dewy rose as opposed to a jammy rose. Yeah. And Sonyata was telling me about a metallic rose. So oh, we should have done the metallic rose. Oh, sick. But, you know, I can pull that out too, okay. if we need it. Yeah. So she's got some rose things here that she's going to show us. Yes, and right? you will sample them and then tell me and, and you're gonna let me test know, me yes let me know your impressions okay, awesome. okay i mean we, we know what they are but just i'm not gonna look it's so that i can try guess look. okay 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 so and then they're slightly exaggerated to make the point but okay. what do you get here okay so so for me mm -hmm. this one is a fresh green yes. rose yeah is that right mm -hmm. did i get it right mm -hmm. yeah so this would be kind of uh more of that Flora Botanica rose uh -huh, with a bit okay, of greenness okay, in yeah. it. Fresh dewy green Dewy, rose. exactly. So it's, it's a dewy rose. So ha so these are, are called uh, creating like a rose accord then? Yeah, is that what yeah. this is? So for the, just for the sake of, of the audience and for not to confuse anyone, I already have pre-made accords and I've added. So oh, for okay. the dewy rose, this is a dewy, you know, these are top secret. This is my <laughs> dewy rose accord and I've added a little bit of a green note. Oh, okay, to kind uh, of to, to kind of exaggerate up. it, so you so you get the point. Which was yeah, like yeah, it's, it's that grassy green note yeah. we smell. Yeah, that grassy green one. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in the notes there was this grassy green, and isn't that supposed to be like super punchy, yeah, but kind of exactly, fleeting? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And it smells super realistic. Like that's the mm -hmm, cool thing. Mm -hmm. Very neat. So we'll move on to. Okay. Oh, oh Guessing. okay. I, okay, I didn't okay, look. Okay, okay. Well, I can't see. Honestly, okay, okay. the lights are blinding, so I can't see. <laughs> okay, well, and so notice the difference. Okay. Right. Oh, see, this is my favorite kind of rose. Mm -hmm. This would be what I would consider jammy. Yes. Okay, so, so do you put fruity in there to make it jammy? This one is a, t there's a tiny bit of fruitiness, and there's a lot of sweeter notes and kind of sticky sweet notes. There's okay. more, you know, there's a little vanilla and some other things. And so different than this. So different. Right. So are you using the same rose accord? Or uh, sometimes in this one, it's a different one. Okay, so it's a different rose accord, mm -hmm. and then you're putting like things like vanilla, maybe yeah. some fruits to yeah. create the yeah. jamminess. Yeah. yeah, so nothing dusty about this. Right. It smells sweet, mouth watering. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> delicious. Okay, so. Um, Completely different angle. Okay. Okay, so to me, this is more that powdery, dusty feel. Right, yeah. This one feels uh, more vintage, mm -hmm. vintagey in the smell. So when I smell this, I think um, typical, um, like the typical old school, like rose combo. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And is that the case? Like mm -hmm. that's. Okay, so what goes into you, like creating that kind of authentic kind of rose? A lot of, well, a lot of different things, but I've used things that are powdery, like towards the Oris family, a tiny oh, bit of okay. things that would make up um, more iris notes, but in just a little amount. Okay, you know? that's really cool. Yes. Last but not least. I'm excited! <laughs> 
I don't know what to make of this one. The rose is a little bit more in the background. Mm -hmm. Like it feels like far away a little bit. Vanilla. It feels a little lipsticky to me. Mm -hmm. Am I completely off? No, it's just some fruit notes. Really? A little fruity. Well, and you know, we have them on sticks, so, we, <laughs> you know, it's hard to get the ratio right, but so, my attempt was a, a quick fruity rose. Oh, and maybe okay. we didn't nail it. But, the, so, this is the point, though. We can move notes in all sorts of directions. Do you have a favorite? Oh, always the jammy. jammy rose. But bizarrely, I'm actually starting to enjoy the green rose, too. Yeah. So, like, the... You know, my default would be something like a jammy rose because I love the, mm -hmm. like the super sweet. And to me, the jammy felt fruity. But now, now let me smell the yeah, fruity so one. Yeah, smell them in contrast. Okay. This one still feels a little bit more like an authentic, mm. uh, with a little bit of fruit added in. But my my go to is the jammy. So. What would you consider would be more of a sophisticated one out of these, like for a sophisticated, oh, a sophisticated nose? Or is um, there such a thing as I that? don't think there is such a nose. To me, to me, because of course it's all um, what you love. Yeah. What you love is what I you love. I love the drama. Uh, and I know there, there's, there's trends and things that come into fashion, and then we pay more attention to them. What's your I've favorite? I've heard a lot about a jam. What's my favorite? Yeah. Um, like, do you have a favorite? Uh, lately, I do like the jammy rose. You do, yeah. and second powdery, and okay. third dewy. And I like them all. It depends. It depends on what I'm in the mood for and what I'm trying to create. I never thought of the word materials, but right. that's one of the mm -hmm. words. So different materials, whether they be synthetic, natural, mm -hmm. uh, give a different feel to any particular note. So. Thinking about vanillas. Yeah, let's try the vanillas. Shall yeah. we move on to the vanillas? Sure. Okay. okay. Unless you want to, is there something no. else you want to? No, that's just, okay. that was fun. I love it. That was fun. There's so much to talk about in, in making perfume. Okay, so these are straight up vanillin crystals. Okay. And vanillin they, crystals. Yeah, and this is you know pretty pretty common material. Okay, so don't eat it all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> Okay, so that smells like kind of just a sweet, almost creamy vanilla. Like, I, when I smell this, honestly, I think of like a b vanilla buttercream icing kind uh -huh. of feel. Okay, okay. Interesting. That's delicious. Really, you can't go wrong with vanilla. My mouth is watery. Okay, now this is ethyl vanillin, and what's different about it to you? To me, this one smells actually a little bit more authentically vanilla. Uh -huh. Okay. What is, what is it more punchy? Is it less punchy? To me, it was less punchy really? than that one. Okay. Is it usually not? It's, I, I tend to think of it as more vanilla than vanilla. Um, and we're not smelling them diluted. They would smell right. slightly different. Okay, and completely, oh, now we're, we're in another realm. We have vanilla absolute. Okay. Right, straight up, natural. So how is this different than the vanilla you'd use in cooking then? Oh, it's really different. <laughs> Wow, so that's yeah. no, this really an punchy absolute. and this almost is, pungent. Yeah. This is the whole wow. thing. Wow. Yeah. So you have, like, do you dilute, yeah, dilute yeah, that yeah, one yeah. then? It's already diluted at 50%, I think. Yeah, it is. So interestingly, this is another thing that I seemingly have discovered, is when you have a natural ingredient that's... Uh, that's not like, diluted. Yes, yeah, that's not diluted. It actually doesn't smell like the note. It smells to me way more earthy, mm -hmm. kind of gross a little bit. Are you thinking like the the orange flower absolute, for example? Yeah, yeah. It, it, and even this, like, I can tell it's vanilla, but it smells yeah. less vanilla than the synthetics. Right. So I often, well, and this is just a style that I like. I often use a material that's not a natural, and a natural together. Okay. I think it adds, the naturals add a richness, but the naturals on their own, if you, and natural perfumery is also an art, but for me, um, straight up natural, using all naturals can 
leave you with this kind of muddy, heavy feeling. Okay. So that's why we use all the other materials. Right. Like we were talking about the Hedy On. Yeah. Right? Which is in almost any uh, perfume that uh, is in a floral direction. Yeah. So it creates space. Yeah. It yeah. Like that's, uh, um, Sonetta was saying how, like, so we came in here to play. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, I like this note, this note, this note, and this note. And so you think, oh, that's what makes a perfume. But um, maybe just talk to, uh, to us about uh, how you create space in a perfume so that the notes kind right. of work and, together. Okay. And, yeah, well, there's <laughs> materials like Hedione and Isoe Super. And Isoe Super is the one that smelled a little bit cedar-like. Yeah. Yeah. And Hedione's the one with a bit of a floral quality. And they, they help it. They help blend a perfume, they help it be transparent and spacious and smell like a perfume and not just like a bunch of essential oils. Right. And there's many, many, many materials, as you can see, that are used for their smell but also for their function. They right. help bridge materials together or they they help, you know, if you're trying to create something towards like a more watery, transparent um, okay. angle, you, you may use certain materials that in and of themselves don't smell a lot but right. but create uh they have a function right a lot of times uh musk perfume like you can have a um a musky perfume like i think of narciso rodriguez perfumes mm -hmm. but a lot of times i'll see musk and i don't really ever notice it mm -hmm. so is that an example of mm -hmm. it being used yeah functionally as opposed to smell and smell? function and does and it you know makes makes the perfume last okay. um uh, but um, the musks, yeah, they're they're interesting because there's there's many musks that uh, some people can't smell at all. Right. So oftentimes um, perfumers will use many different musks, so everyone, fig you know, there's one also that, something catches yes, someone's nose. Yes, yeah. and I think also that's a reason that it's so subjective. You know, um, like I was mentioning, my husband, he smells yeah. this one molecule that my daughter and I think it's just delightful, it's powdery, it's beautiful, and he smells it and just retracts. Yeah. Right? So it's it's different, it's registering different, and that's, that's the fun part. Yeah, that's super yeah. cool. Can you tell us a little bit about, like, your own personal creative process as far as... I, I could try. Okay. I can try, but it varies so much, so I, I don't... I can't say I have a... Mm. Is it a common approach? Sometimes. Sometimes. Usually, well, you know this about me. You probably know as much about this about me <laughs> as I do. Sometimes I just get an impression in the world that speaks to me, and um, I like to tell stories with perfumes. You know what we can't talk about is your idea about making a perfume. and Because it's also, you have a similar... A similar um, Headshot for yes, storytelling. Yes, that's it. Actually, one of the things that attracted me to Sonyata was the fact that she tells these creative stories. And it's experiences that she's had or impressions, like she yeah, was saying. Exactly, yeah. And I love doing that. As you guys know, I love <laughs> coming up with crazy stories. So the impression they that don't know what you're talking is. about. <laughs> <laughs> what we want to do is take you through this kind of process of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, coming up with a story or a concept. You know, you don't just go into a lab from, you know, yeah, some people do. Yeah, it's exciting to have this many materials and know you love them. And the impulse sometimes is to just put everything I like together. But it doesn't usually work so well. So it's really helpful to have an, you know, an idea, a brief uh, an outline. What family am I going for? What's the impression I want to give? Is it, a, you know, is it, is it only a perfume that would work in the winter? Or all these things. Right. So you have some ideas. So I, I yeah. yeah. So it. So I'm we excited. maybe. Oh, so Maria is gonna challenge me, I think, because I'm I'm gonna try and pull this off at some point. <laughs> Give me a few months. What I appreciate is it's like writing a story. Yeah. So if you're gonna write a novel, you need your outline. You need kind of the idea of where you're going. It works really similar mm -hmm. in perfumery. The artistic process is is kind of. You need some sort of shell, right? The story, please. Okay, so this okay, so yes. Go ahead. It, it was quite a story. <laughs> so prepare, prepare to be entertained. Okay, so my story. It's one of my favorite stories, and it's the story of the female pirate. 
So she's lived on that ship her whole life. Her father was a pirate. She's formidable and she takes over that freaking ship and she rules it, but she rules it uh, hard. They won't mess with her. She's a tough chick. She knows how to use that freaking sword, all of that. But she she um, runs it compassionately at the same time because because <laughs> the heroine is me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so anyway, uh, she feels like something's missing. I've told this story a little bit before. Feels like something's missing. She lets her uh, crew go and she just kind of sails around the seas for a little bit. Uh, she finds this gorgeous island. She gets off and and like she always like she dresses pretty cool. She's got kind of a almost a navy. It's it's purple, but it's almost navy kind of velvet uh, bodice thing with a big white fluffy shirt. She's got her leather pants, her leather boots, uh, and she's a spice trader. Like she does like she's uh, traveling back and forth trading spices and uh, or stealing them, <laughs> coffee that kind of thing. Anyway, she gets to her island, uh, she gets off, she starts exploring, and she finds herself in this situation where she, like, falls down this kind of crevice and can't get out. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, um, of course, our hero comes into the sea, uh, and he's been actually on the island for years. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a bit of a professor, a little bit kind of, you know... <laughs> He's, he's so gorgeous, too. Like, he's so gorgeous, Sanyana. I can't even handle it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he rescues her. Their eyes lock. Mm -hmm. They end up uh, in a mad, passionate affair on the island for quite some time. And then they sail the seas together. Ooh. Yeah. So... <laughs> It's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. I embarrass That is myself. a lot of data <laughs> to work with. So when you think of um, spices, okay, what what spices? Well, okay. So let's back up. Let's back oh, up. before you yeah. before yeah. So so um, so what I'm she's mapping. done is she's mapped out kind of my story and the the key players right in the exactly. story. Yes. Yes. So do you have an overall idea of? what kind of family you'd be interested in. I mean, I can guess, yeah. but let me hear it from you. So, like a warm, spicy uh, family, like Like a warm amber, amber, amber a spicy yeah. amber, yeah. And so, when I think uh, pirate, like, so spices, yes. I think things like clove, uh, you know, cinnamon, I meant, mentioned coffee, and, mm -hmm. I, and personally, I love coffee with, with spice. those spices. Okay. Um, I, I think of wood because of the pirate mm -hmm. ship. Is so. that in the crevice she falls down into or is that the ship? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the ship. Okay. The crevice, like, you know, I think of rock and, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you can blend mm -hmm. things like wood and, mm -hmm. okay. you know, I don't know mm -hmm. if that works. So like just thinking of what I, So wood, you know. and do you have a, an idea of what? Of the wood, yeah. What type of wood? Um, well, like when I think ship, I think of hardwood. Like right. so, uh, but I also think of like on the ship, barrels of rum, and you know, because she's so we have oak wood contraband. Yeah, we have oak wood. Yeah, so oak wood, uh, rum, uh, or yeah, I think rum when I think pirates. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. Any florals? Um, well, or is it a straight up kind of ambery, spicy? Well, when I think of, I, like, I always do think of something like a rose, like okay. thinking about femininity, her coloring is, mm -hmm. um, you know, the dark hair, red lips, slightly flushed. Um, yeah. And I, like, of course I think jabby, like, but that's cause that's just my favorite. Right. Okay. <laughs> so you talked about leather. Yes, so like a little bit of leather, kind of more in the background. Like to me, mm -hmm. she's kind of a flamboyant person, so the leather is functional, uh, but not necessarily, you know what I mean? Thing. So she's not a head to toe leather girl, no, she's, she's got leather got, accent. Yeah, and she's got okay. that velvet kind of plummy colored, uh -huh. okay, okay. you know, which makes me think of fruit. I think color. Mm -hmm. So for me, it would be like more of a purpley, plummy, uh -huh. yeah. uh, okay. you know, that kind of. Okay, really sweet, middle sweet. 
Um, I like the idea of some sweetness in there from a perspective of also the femininity. Yeah. So even though she's got this hard edge, there's something. Thinking about mood, I yeah. think of, like, the mood is wistful, longing. Like, I think of those kind of things mm -hmm. in the midst of it. Uh, this longing for more. And I think passion, okay. of course. You know, so the longing for... And then her finding it and it being this ignition of set no. <laughs> Your okay. viewers are going to need to visit us in a few months and I'm going to play with this <laughs> idea. So like, you know, is this, when you hear all of these things, would you go, oh, this is too many notes, like too much stuff going on? No, this is kind of just our sketch. literal sketch brief. Um, it can expand, we can take it down, we can go, we can uh, certainly put uh, a bunch of these notes together as a sketch like right. we did yesterday. We put them on yeah. sticks and just found them to see if they even like each other, if they right. work with each other, if you like them together. Yeah. Um, before we even start um, writing the actual formula. Right. Before we really figure out percentages and all the wacky stuff that nobody needs to know about in this moment. Yeah, but like that was yeah. the other thing that was really interesting about uh, creating was, you, like she um, would put the like some, some notes different materials. Yeah, on, like she gave us these sticks for mm -hmm. the roses, um, and then you fan them to see if they play together. Yeah. So we played with a few notes that were like eh. Mm -hmm. uh, so doing that, and then once you get that, then you begin to actually get your uh, yeah. recipe, yeah. basically, yeah. right? So then we try and write a formula, and this is where things can take a very, 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 very long time, because if you change a, um, you know, let's say a really impactful material, even a tiny bit, it can change the whole perfume. Right. And so then you make the formula again, and then you make it again. And, and you're waiting a little yeah. bit. And yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so it takes time. Some perfumers will take a few weeks to create a perfume. Some will take a few years. Right. Right. A few years. Yes. Yeah. What was your longest, uh, like in making your perfumes? The one that took the longest. Yeah. Blackbird took a lot of different directions, so right. that took a very long time. But Chocolate Earth took me a really long time. Like, how? Like how many? Like was it was it months, weeks, months, months, months. Yeah. Wow. Months, months. Okay. And then when I would. In, reach that point of, oh, I'm not sure what to do to make it smell like I want it to smell. I would leave it for a few days and then come back to okay. it. Okay. Yeah. And, and yeah, I know some fellow friend perfume makers may put things away for months at a time. Yeah, and just and give revisit it space. Them, revisit them in a different season, start again, pick up where they left off. It, it depends. Cool. This, this is fun. This looks fine. I like this idea. So out of our sketch, Senyata's now got some accords and different things and we're going to start kind of building our sketch so what okay. do you want to take me through first well you, you uh wanted to move in the direction of a more ambery fragrance so i this is a pretty basic um amber accord that i've made that i've had so that's Okay. Is that the direction you're thinking? Oops, as I shove it up my nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. So it's got some vanilla y. Yeah. I don't understand ambers, honestly. Like. So there's lavnum and benzoin and vanilla in there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, and then we have, I put our spices together. Okay, so what spices are we gonna. So we have Focus. cinnamon, clove, and you then mentioned black pepper as right. well. Yeah, I thought a little bit of that. spice might be good. Now we can play around with added, you know, I could pass you a spice at a time, or you could smell the spices together and see if you like them together. So okay, let's, your call. let's smell the spices together first. Okay. I find the pepper a little strong. Right. But that said, I like the combo. Right, okay. But I just find pepper yes, a little Yes, yes, it's pretty impactful. Heavy. And again, because we're playing with just drops on sticks, and just do this. Literally drag the pepper down a little bit right. and put the other ones up. Uh, this is just playing now, so. Yeah, so you can just uh, put the, like, so she's put the pepper <laughs> down on the this stick. This is not a scientific method. This is it's <laughs> the method that we use. But, like, I still find it quite strong. Mm -hmm. I wonder, like, so black pepper, Mm -hmm. I'm not liking the black pepper. What about something like a chili or something mm -hmm. 
You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, and then we could play with that. And let's take out the pepper for now. Okay. Or, you know, keep it here and consider it as a... Okay, can I smell the pepper on its own? Yep. It's not the pepper I was smelling. It was the clove. Oh, uh, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, the, the mm -hmm. clove is potent. Right. So, so can I yeah. take the... Let's see, what do you like? Do you like watch, this? watch it not be the clove. Watch it be the actual cinnamon I've got an issue with. Okay, let's try. Mm. Can I smell the clove on mm -hmm. its own? And when we'd be working, trying to create the formula, we, we'd want to try and balance the spices in a way that made sense to you. So, right? we, yeah. yeah. And we would take the more impactful things, maybe reduce them. and. Yeah, so I thought I was smelling the black pepper mm -hmm. and going, oh, the black pepper, it's like tickling my nose. It was the cinnamon. Oh, interesting. So, like the black pepper and the clove together, mm -hmm. loving it. Okay. So is, that, is that weird? No. Okay, so let's put the cinnamon here. So now we're going to mix my spices with the amber yep. accord. Mm -hmm. I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Okay. That would be left. Let's try. Whoa. Okay, I'm getting excited. I'm going to rack the place. Okay. Right. Here's your coffee. Okay. Shove the coffee. Mm -hmm. Yep. Love it. What's this one? Oakwood. It's an oakwood CO2. It's pretty... Like, so, at first, without the oak wood, I'm just smelling the spices mm -hmm. pretty potently. Mm -hmm. And the, the the spices are definitely overtaking the amber, mm -hmm. but I guess the amber's in the bottom too, mm -hmm. right? But as soon as you add the oak, it kind of softens it somehow. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have. Oh, interesting. I like it. Do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So that on its own. So we have okay. some leather coming into the picture, leather accord. I love leather. So yeah, that's So your that's fellows good. come in now with his leather or <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a whip. <laughs> Comes out of on his bull whip down a vibe. Yeah, okay. Love it. Just hold them together, yeah. Okay, I find that the, the leather made it more like more masculine. Mm -hmm. Like so this to me felt rather unisex but as soon as you throw the leather in it starts to feel a little more masculine but i still like it what do you think <gasps> <laughs> i'm geeking out here yep. what do you okay, think okay yeah yeah i see it leaves a little masculine okay the spices in the amber feels unisex with the coffee, and then when you throw the leather in, it feels a little masculine. So now let's throw in our jammy rose. Mm -hmm. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Right? What's so, all that? Like, <laughs> I could just I smell need this big fatty thing. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can do something in that direction. The, the like in the the jammy rose it's it's got lots of sweetiness mm -hmm. it feels fruity fruity to me mm -hmm. so as soon as you throw the rose in but it doesn't smell like to me the typical rose oud mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. it smells a little bit more well, the playful oak, the oak wood is such it's yeah i like that uh-huh so and again so this is how we play in the lab this is what we do. Very neat. I mean, I you know, I may do this, I may do a, take a different approach. Yeah. But I wanted to hear today uh, what your vision was. Yeah. I like it. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> so that is kind of the beginning stages yeah. of just kind of coming up with something and going, do I hey, even does like this even it? work? Yeah. yeah. Do I even like this together? Yeah. So then the, the complicated part comes in actually beginning to try to figure out okay how much percentage yeah. of this how yeah. much percentage of this yeah. how to you know that would mm -hmm. and that's what takes so much time it takes time and then we wanted to hang around for a while to see how everything macerates and you know are they friends are they foes yeah uh, and so it, it will it, it takes some time yeah. and some trials Sometimes it's a quick process, but mostly it's not. Yeah. 
Well, not in my experience anyways. And so out of this whole entire process, what would you say is your favorite? Like, do you enjoy mm. all of it equally or is there a part that uh, is your favorite and a part that's you feel is mundane and just in the creative mm, process? That's a good question. Um, I get pretty excited when I'm close and pretty frustrated. When oh, okay. I'm close. Yeah. When I, and my family, I think, I'm sure my daughter and my husband are tired, but they probably smelt, no kidding, thousands of trials. Right. Um, when my husband goes, you know, I see the look, and I'm like, yeah, I'm getting close. Right. Or when I feel close and I can see it's somebody else is really enjoying it. That's, pretty, that's an exciting time. But it's also a very frustrating time, because that's when the fine-tuning becomes just that super fine-tuning. So almost excruciating, because mm -hmm. you're almost there. Yeah. And is there ever a time where you feel like, oh, this is taking... Like, uh, like okay, I've taken it too far and I need to pull it back. Like, Absolutely. So you can almost fine-tune to yeah, death. Yeah, yeah, and then that's the tricky part too. Uh, I, I always think that could have been better. Right. Even though it's complete, it's bottled, you've tried them, you know. I was like, maybe I should have, could I have? Maybe I should have. And that's just a forever process yeah. for me. Yeah, so. for sure. So at some point you've just got to land. Yeah. Exactly. Chips fall where they yeah. may. I oh, I know what the, I was going to ask you. Okay. Do you have a name in mind? I literally don't have a name. I can't okay. One. Stay tuned. Okay, so Maria what, will what be thinking you name of it? I don't know yet. <laughs> Passionate Emperor. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to have a name, but sometimes the name also um, moves you in a direction. Right. Like, you know, when um, with my running with wolves, I had the name and the felt experience in my psyche before I sat down to formulate it. So you don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely have to think about the name. So um, we are going to wrap this up. If you guys have any questions uh, for Samyata in, in regards to the perfume uh, process, the creative process, uh, different notes, feel free to leave them in the comments. And, and I will do... do my best to answer them. Yeah. And thank you, thank you so much for taking us through this. It's, to me, really cool mm -hmm. to kind of experience the creative aspect. And seriously, guys, like, this is a dream being able to be in here and just experience all the notes. So, so visit us in a few months, and let's see what we come up with. Yeah, that okay. would be really cool. Right. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. And, I'm excited. Okay. And also, also, um, you have all heard Maria's vision. If you have a name, suggest it in the comments. Ooh, that's a good idea. Right? I love that. Okay. Yeah. So if you have a name for my mm -hmm. crazy pirate woman perfume. Right, exactly. Yes, yes. You put it in the comments yeah. And, yeah. and we could potentially choose that. Awesome. Right? Great idea. Yay. So thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.